everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can link your different courses to a homeroom for your students. So this is geared towards teachers who teach elementary school and have multiple subjects but have only one class roster. So we're just going to get into the navigation of how you can make this pretty simple for your students to work around separate course subjects. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a homeroom. So if your district does not have a homeroom created for you, I suggest you try to add a course with your students in it and create one. This will be like a go-to spot where they can get all their information, and this is where you want your classroom um, homepage to go. So I'm just going to click here and it's going to open to this homeroom that I've created. So now we have right here our title and like just our welcome banner. We can have a message here. We can put whatever we want. But for keeping it short, sweet and simple, I'm just going to show you my little banner. And then I've created little buttons down here, just like I showed you guys in my how to make buttons video. So before we... Um, add links to these, I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm actually going to open all of these into a new tab. Okay, so now I can go back into my homeroom. I'm going to edit my homepage and the first one that I've opened is English. Now here's my English homepage. So maybe I just keep it you know, very sweet, very simple. I just put the title there for now. You can fill this with whatever you want, or you really honestly don't even have to have a home page. You could just make, for example, the module or modules the home page here. But I'm just going to keep it like this for a, an example. So I'm going to copy up here the URL uh, for this English course that I've opened. I'm going to go back here scroll down to English and then click on the linked URL. Now the free account doesn't have the course option so it's just going to ask me for an external one. I'm just going to paste that URL code, insert the link and now it's a button and I'm just going to go back to each one of them here. Here's history, select history and add my little link paste it, done. Math, here's my math course, and do the same thing. And science. All right, so now all I have to do is click save. Here's my home page. I'm gonna exit out of these just so we can make sure that it works and when I click science it takes me to the science course I can go click back and click on math that one works history good it's always good to double check that your buttons work and English yay so they all work which is awesome. So that's just one way you can do it. Another way is um, you can combine. So let's go back to the dashboard real quick. All right. So now the other way I'm going to show you how you can navigate all your different subjects for your students a little easier is you can actually go to the homeroom and we are going to go to settings. All right, so now within course details, we want to go down to the course code right here, and we are going to copy it. Now, I want all of my other courses to go into this course here. So we're going to go back to the dashboard. So I'm just going to do science first. We'll go here, and we'll go to settings. We will go to sections. We're going to click on science section, cross list this section. And then this box pops up. 
to search for the course, we're going to paste the course. And then we're going to cross list this section. So now my homeroom, now you can see science is gone. So my homeroom and science are now actually combined. Now you'll notice my page disappeared and even if I go to pages, it's still here. But actually you'll notice that the page in the science room disappeared. So when I combined them, everything in those other courses disappeared. So you need to make sure that before you decide to cross list anything, you want to import everything. If you made stuff in these ones, import them in here first into your homeroom. So I'll show you that one more time. You're going to go settings, section, click on math. I want math to be cross-listed, I want it to go into the homeroom. We're going to cross-list this section. So now my homeroom is the main course and I have math inside it together. Okay, so now as you can see, I have combined all of the courses that I was given or really that I made uh, as an example. So you can click in here and then when you go to settings, sections, you can see all the sections that are inside of this course. So I have English, history, math, science. All right, so just a quick reminder, don't cross list until either the very beginning when you have nothing in those courses or at the very end and you mo just move everything over, okay? If you have any more questions about cross-listing, please ask me questions. Um, I honestly think that the easiest or really the easier way would be to do it the first way that I showed you um, with adding the links to navigate. And that way too, the students can see all the different subjects that they do have. All right, guys, please feel free to contact me and leave me a little comment below. Uh, ask, ask, ask questions, because this is the time to do it before all your hard work might get just completely deleted and gone. All right, guys, have a good one. See you soon.